uh, Kasuth County actually getting some uh, storms right now just around Algona. So if you're waking up there, probably hearing some thunder and seeing some lightning in the distance. Not anything severe right now, but some downforce will be possible with these cells as they continue to uh, develop and become a little bit more numerous here in southern Minnesota, northern Iowa. A couple complexes of storms that have been pulling out of that. Uh, South Dakota brought some wind gusts around 40 miles per hour and even some hail with that uh, complex in some heavier rainfall south of the Twin Cities. So definitely going to have an unsettled pattern for today, and these are generally also going to start to trend toward the south and east, clipping our northern counties this morning. That's where the wettest part of uh, the state will be. Will be up to the north. The metro area is starting off dry, muggy though. Dew point still in the mid 60s. So at the bus stop, it'll be dry this morning, but then midday we'll see the chance for some of these storms trying to work through, and even some isolated storms through the evening. We'll have dry time in between, but again, the main threat with these storms that will try to move through will be some heavier rainfall and potentially some gusty winds. There could be some hail embedded as well. So your hour by hour lunchtime again, trying uh, to see more of the convection up to the north, and that's where the cooler air will be, where we have more cloud cover and shower activity. Those will continue to pull toward the southeast through this evening here, six o'clock, and then overnight tonight we'll have the chance for more scattered storms redeveloping in the overnight hours through tomorrow morning. So if you're going to be uh, waking up early tomorrow again, make sure that you uh, prepare for some wet weather, especially from central Iowa points north. This model in particular has us dry. Still think there could be some scattered storms trying to pull through. But again, the heaviest rainfall is generally expected to stay toward the north and east. Lesser amounts farther south and west. And then as we get into tomorrow uh, evening, I do think that we'll have some dry time before more scattered storms redevelop on Thursday as the front crosses through the state. So again, as we look at the rain tracker, it keeps everything heavier or the heaviest amounts up to the north. Doesn't mean you're necessarily going to get this amount in your area, but this is just what the trend will be lighter amounts farther south and west. So again, if you live north of the boundary where you're seeing more clouds and rainfall, temperatures will be a little cooler south of that will be warmer today. Still going to keep it muggy tomorrow and on Thursday with storm chances and then fall arrives in the weekend and look at that typical fall like weather going to be beautiful. More sunshine expected before wet weather returns Monday night into Tuesday.